The clock in the car read 3 a.m., a quiet hour that draped the roads between Atlanta and Lexington in a blanket of silence. Night driving held a peculiar allure for me, the reduced traffic, the freedom to set my own pace. It was a time when the world seemed to belong solely to those behind the wheel, a tranquil canvas painted with the soft hum of the engine and the occasional whisper from the radio. A pit stop at a gas station had provided the requisite caffeine boost. Armed with cups of steaming coffee, I resumed my place at the helm, my girlfriend nestled in sleep's embrace beside me. The darkness outside was all-encompassing, broken only by the sporadic presence of vehicles parked by the roadside, silent sentinels in the night. It was amidst this desolation that a figure emerged in the distance, a lone silhouette initially reminiscent of a hitchhiker. But as I drew closer, the details remained elusive, obscured by the veil of night. Tall and slender, an ethereal brown hue enveloped the form, an anomaly against the dark backdrop of the highway. Approaching cautiously, my curiosity mingled with a growing unease. The seconds stretched, each moment intensifying the uncertainty that had woven its way into my mind. At a mere twenty feet, the figure pivoted, and our gazes locked in an instant. Dread gripped me as I comprehended the truth. This was no ordinary encounter. The entity, bearing some semblance to a deer, stood with a posture so startlingly human that it defied comprehension. Rational explanations eluded me as fear coiled within, the reality before me an enigma that defied classification. My mind grappled desperately for familiarity, attempting to reconcile the inexplicable with the known. The fleeting image of a deer flashed through my thoughts, but the humanoid posture contradicted any semblance of reason, leaving me adrift in a sea of disbelief and terror. The miles rolled on, the encounter a haunting memory that lingered long after the headlights had faded, and the journey concluded. Even as I walked through the welcoming doors of my parents' home, the unsettling specter of that inexplicable entity remained etched in my consciousness, an enigmatic chapter in a night veiled with the uncanny. The winter night descended like a shroud over the countryside, casting an eerie stillness that seemed to seep into the very bones of those who dared to traverse its icy embrace. I found myself navigating a desolate stretch of road, flanked by towering pines adorned in ghostly coats of snow. Their branches reached out like skeletal fingers, casting elongated shadows on the frozen ground below. In the cocoon of my car, the heater hummed a feeble tune, attempting to stave off the biting cold that clawed at the window panes. The moon, a pale specter in the sky, cast a haunting glow that painted the landscape in shades of silver. The air itself crackled with a foreboding tension, an unspoken warning that echoed through the wintry night. Accompanying me on this eerie journey were my girlfriend, her sister, and a close circle of friends. We were on our way to a remote cabin nestled deep in the woods for a weekend retreat, seeking solace in the quietude of nature. Little did we know that the wintry embrace held more than just frost and snow. As the tires crunched through the icy snow, the landscape morphed into a haunting tableau. The road, a slender lifeline in the darkness, seemed to disappear into the abyss of the night, offering no refuge from the encroaching shadows. The trees, veiled in icy mantles, whispered secrets to the wind, secrets that reverberated in the hollows of the night. It was then that the unsettling began, a whisper of movement, faint yet unmistakable, darting at the edge of our vision. At first we laughed it off, attributing it to the play of moonlight on the frost-kissed branches. But as the miles rolled on, those elusive shapes persisted, dancing in and out of the periphery, their movements graceful yet unnerving. Unease crept in a cold finger tracing icy patterns down our spines. My girlfriend's sister clutched her coat tightly, a nervous glance exchanged between us. We tried to reassure each other, dismissing the strange occurrences as figments of an overactive imagination. Desperate to shake off the growing dread, I pressed harder on the gas pedal, hoping to outrun the eerie presence that seemed to shadow our every move. 
but with each passing moment, the shapes seemed to draw closer, their forms coalescing into humanoid shadows that melted into the snow-covered landscape. As we approached the outskirts of a remote town, the shapes gradually dissipated into the wintry night, leaving behind an unsettling chill that lingered in the air. Only then did the tension begin to ease, but the memory of those haunting shadows lingered, etching itself as a spectral whisper in the annals of our wintry night drive. It was the eerie hour of 2 a.m. when the world seemed to hold its breath, and I found myself deep into an endurance test behind the wheel, a marathon drive cutting through the heart of the country. The relentless journey had devoured the daylight hours, leaving me navigating through the enigmatic realm of the desert night. The sky barely whispered hints of light, surrendering the landscape to an endless cloak of darkness. My truck's headlights valiantly attempted to pierce the obsidian void, painting a feeble path on the asphalt while shrouding the rest of the world in a haunting embrace of shadow. Exhaustion, like an unwanted passenger, had settled into every crevice of my being, whispering seductive lullabies of sleep. It was then, as if conjured by the desert's unseen hand, that they appeared, spectral forms flitting alongside my truck in a mesmerizing ballet. Some moved gracefully on two legs, others skittered on all fours, their movements in eerie synchronization with the rhythm of the night. A chill crept up my spine, and my mind sifted through a vault of haunting tales, whispers of desert phantoms and nocturnal wanderers. Amidst the growing dread, a faint echo of folklore beckoned. Ignore the unknown to escape its grasp. So, I locked my gaze stubbornly forward, refusing to acknowledge the spectral performance playing out at the periphery of my vision. Sealing the windows shut and cranking the radio to a deafening volume in an attempt to drown out the surreal sights, I pressed on, engaged in a silent tug-of-war between primal instinct and paralyzing terror. Mile after mile, those enigmatic forms danced alongside me, their ethereal presence refusing to dissipate. It was only as the vague apparitions gradually dissipated, roughly fifteen minutes before the distant flicker of a solitary town emerged on the horizon, that the icy tendrils of fear began to loosen their grip on my rattled nerves. I've encountered my share of road anomalies, thwarted heists, unsettling encounters on treacherous bends, yet none cling to the fringes of my memory quite like those desert shadows. They remain a fragment of my journey, an enigmatic enigma etched in the chronicles of my travels through the unknown. That night, amidst the desert's solemn vigil, the convergence of sleep deprivation and sensory distortion birthed an experience that wove a ghostly tapestry on the fabric of reality, etching itself as an eerie footnote in the symphony of my travels. On this fateful night, the world seemed veiled in mystery as my girlfriend and I embarked on an extraordinary odyssey. We had left the safety and routine of home far behind, enticed by the allure of an uncharted and enigmatic road. Within the secure cocoon of our car, her fingers interlocked with mine. Our anticipation was intertwined with a captivating sense of unease. This journey wasn't merely an escape from the ordinary. It was an exploration of the extraordinary, a chance to inscribe our own legends onto the tapestry of existence. The open road beckoned, promising uncharted realms and a bond between us that would be forged in the crucible of this night. Yet, the storm that raged outside had transformed the world, casting a spell of wonder and tension over our adventure. The raindrops hammered the windshield with relentless insistence, each one a percussionist in a frenetic symphony directed by nature herself. The sporadic bursts of lightning were flashes of revelation, momentarily illuminating a road that appeared to meander like a riddle waiting to be solved. The forest, a sentinel of secrets, bordered the road, its depths concealing enigmas that seemed destined to remain uncharted within the shroud of the night. As I guided the car through the labyrinthine path, the unease grew, adding an edge of suspense to our escapade. My girlfriend's eyes darted nervously, capturing fleeting shadows and spectral figures that danced at the periphery of our vision. The sensation of being watched, 
once a solitary burden, now enveloped us, as if our car had become a haven for a spectral observer. Her hand clung to mine, seeking refuge amid the mounting fear. Then, the eerie sensation solidified into a disconcerting reality. Our headlights sliced through the darkness, revealing a figure standing sentinel by the roadside. My girlfriend gasped, her grip on my hand tightening to an almost painful intensity. The spectral figure, with its pallid countenance illuminated by the eerie radiance of its eyes, felt like a creature summoned from the collective recesses of our nightmares. Panic surged through us as I swerved the car to avoid the apparition, our hearts racing in unison. But as we dared to glance back, the figure had vanished into the obscurity, leaving behind a chilling memory that hung in the air like a phantom's presence. Determined to evade this uncanny terror, I pressed the accelerator with resolute determination. The rain continued to lash against the car, as if the elements themselves had cast us as intruders. The trees lining the road extended their gnarled branches, scraping against the windows, and the forest shadows metamorphosed into grotesque, otherworldly entities. It was as though the very world had formed a sinister alliance, conspiring to keep us entwined within the labyrinthine mysteries of the night. The car's radio, once a comforting companion, had become an instrument of the arcane. It emitted distorted, otherworldly sounds, and the whispers that filled the car sent shivers down our spines. My girlfriend trembled, her eyes wide with terror. I hastened to silence the radio, but the sense of foreboding persisted, as though the very darkness had found its voice, whispering secrets we were never meant to hear. Just as our hope teetered on the precipice of despair, a faint light appeared on the horizon, a beacon of salvation amid the pervasive obscurity. We pulled into a small clearing, and as we stepped out of the car, we were greeted by an eerie silence. The rain had ceased, and the stillness felt like a sentient presence, as if the very air held secrets close to its heart. The memory of that tempestuous night, the apparitions and our shared fear, would forever be etched in our souls. We had weathered a night drive that would remain vivid in our memories, an adventure where unique elements of wonder Suspense and enigma had fused together, leaving us with a lingering question of what lay concealed in the mysteries of our journey.